This is the Zurich APCO CPC Smart Check. Uh, this is a motor actuated pump control valve. Uh, the applications this valve is used in are water and wastewater pumping systems. It's used to prevent surges under normal pump startup and normal pump shutdown. Uh, the basis of the valve is the APCO 6000 high performance swing check valve with double clevis disc. We have a lever and weight to prevent primary slam and a side mount air cushion to prevent secondary slam. Uh, we also configure the valve with a limit switch which interfaces with the telemetry. The CPC Smart Check was developed from the voice of our customer who was looking for a pump control valve that didn't require any maintenance. Uh, typical cylinders, air actuated solenoids, water fitted cylinders require maintenance. So we incorporated this motor actuator on top of a unique torque unit that will provide surge free operation for opening and closing um, and the motor actuator does not require maintenance. So as you see here we have a yoke nut on the motor stem. The motor now is running to the open position. The crescent moon uh, which is the yoke assembly is attached to the valve shaft which is in turn attached to the valve disc. So that was a, a sequence of moving the valve to the open position. Now we'll move it to the closed position. You see the motor stem moving in an upward direction, pushing on the yoke nut, which rotates the shaft. The shaft is connected to the disc, and now the disc is closing slowly against a running pump to minimize surges on pump shutdown. So the most important feature of the CPC Smart Check is it will fail close on loss of power. Uh, as you see here in the video, the valve is in the open position, and the motor is also in the open position. If the pump was running and we lost power to the pump, we also lose power to the electric motor actuator. However, with the unique uh, assembly of the yoke mechanism, the yoke nut is not connected to the yoke. So as I simulate a power failure, I lose power to the pump. You can see the yoke rotates, the check valve closes like a standard lever and weight air cushion swing check valve even though the motor is still in the open position. So this is the Zurich APCO ECB pump control valve interface. This is an accessory that we can provide to interface between the CPC Smart Check pump control valve and the pump. This box will automatically stop and start the pump and open and close the valve. Uh, the box can be operated in either local or remote. Right now I have the box in the local position to initiate an automatic pump start in local I push the green pump start button, the pump begins to run and wait for pressure. We do not open the CPC Smart Check until we initiate pressure. I can do that with this simulation switch here. Uh, once I get pressure, I energize the motor actuator and I begin opening the valve slowly against a running pump. Um, and what you'll see is the valve will go to the full open position uh, as we demonstrated earlier. Now to initiate an automatic pump shutdown with the local remote switch in the local position, I push the pump stop button. The only thing that happens there, the pump continues to run, I have pressure, the valve's open, I begin running the motor actuator against uh, a, a running pump and I slowly close the valve over several critical surge periods to minimize surge. As the valve reaches the closed position, I trip the limit switch. The limit switch on the valve, which interfaces with the pump, and it shuts off the pump. And by shutting off the pump, I also lose pressure. So I've slowly closed the pump control valve without having any surges in the system. Okay, so with the ECB pump control valve, I'm going to initiate another normal pump start. You see that I start the pump, I'm waiting for pressure. Uh, and in the top right hand corner there we have some programmable features that we can set the amount of time that we wait for pressure uh, when we start the pump. Uh, here you see we have the unit set at 30 seconds. If we do not receive pressure within the amount of time that we show on the timer setting, the control box will automatically stop the pump and ensure that the valve is in the closed position. There you see that we have mode failure number one, insufficient pressure on startup, and uh, that alarm can be set and sent to a remote location. So the ECB pump control valve interface has five uh, set alarms from the factory. 
You just saw the insufficient pressure on startup. We also have an alarm that indicates the valve did not open on startup, or if the valve closes prematurely without a command, or if we lose pressure while the pump is running. In addition to that, we have a power, power failure delay mode, uh, which uh, indicates that we've lost power to the unit. Uh, any of those alarms require a manual reset by depressing and pulling the emergency stop button. That will reset the alarm code and allow us to initiate a normal pump startup where we start the pump against a closed valve, we wait for pressure, we achieve pressure within the amount of time, we then begin opening the pump control valve motor, and once we trip the limit switch on the valve and inside the motor, um, you'll see the light indication which shows a orange light for the pump is running, the solid blue light means we have pressure, and the solid green light means the valve is open. Uh, now to initiate a normal pump shutdown as we did before, uh, we take away the run command, this could be a, a float switch in a wet well, and the only thing that happens there is we begin closing the valve against a running pump. We close it slowly, and as it goes through the closure sequence, you'll see that uh, we trip the limit switch on the valve. And by tripping the limit switch, that interfaces with the pump, shuts off the pump, and of course we take away the pump pressure because we've stopped the pump. So the CPC Smart Check, when it goes to the open position, you'll see the 25 degree full port opening of the high performance check valve. It has a stainless steel 316 seat in the body and a UHMW ultra high molecular weight polyethylene seat on the disc as a standard. Uh, that seat works very, very well, has high abrasion resistance, works good in wastewater and clean water applications. So the CPC Smart Check will fail closed on loss of power even though the motor actuator is held in an open position. It'll close quickly and quietly. We have an outside lever and weight that eliminates primary slam and a side mount air cushion that will eliminate secondary slam. For more information on the Zurich APCO CPC Smart Check, please visit our website at www.dezurich.com.